Markets don't dictate adoption, it's transformative technology, utility and incentive that will drive this. In an overly centralised world, where we are told to own nothing and be happy, as the need for radical change is more evident, Cardano and the decentralised ownership it offers is that alternative. There is no doubt Cardano is leading the way for both research and implementation of a highly secure, scalable blockchain. It's research that's the most important factor if your aim is to produce a global financial and social operating system. The current market sentiment has demonstrated exactly why Cardano is going to emerge a clear winner for humanity. Despite the downtrend, above all communities in the crypto space, Cardano's continues to grow, remain engaged and is as energetic as it's ever been. Development activity has only increased and the excitement for what's in store for everyone involved is at an all-time high. From the very beginning, Cardano laid out its mission identifying the needs, not for a few, but for a global population, and is systematically implementing the framework to service those needs and make it a reality. When we think about adoption, the vision, conviction and ambition of this entire community, all collaborating simultaneously, coupled with the groundbreaking research and technology, is proven to be a formidable force. Welcome back for today's instalment of Cardano Insights, delivering a fast-paced bite-sized roundup of the all-important Cardano news and ecosystem content from the past 24 hours. So join me as I explore exactly what's been happening at the very pulse of Cardano. So let's get straight into it. Now we all know how seriously Cardano takes the research behind the technology, and with currently over 140 peer-reviewed papers and counting, this approach has always laid the foundation before any feature or upgrade is deployed on the blockchain. In this new post released on Essential Cardano, it takes a closer look at the research that would enable the enhancements regarding scalability. As we know, if mass adoption is the goal, scalability is essential for a blockchain network to support an expanding user base without sacrificing throughput. This will be achieved with a combination of layer 1 solutions, thus upgrades applied directly to the main chain protocol, and layer 2 solutions, which are additional chains known as sidechains or other layer 2 solutions like ZK rollups that boost main chain performance. For the layer 1 solutions, pipelining and input endorsers are two on-chain solutions planned to be implemented on Cardano in 2022 or early 2023. In terms of pipelining in Ouroboros, the focus is on block propagation, where block producing nodes distribute information about new blocks across the network. Pipelining improves block propagation times. The goal is for blocks to be propagated to peers within 5 seconds. Pipelining enables this by giving nodes the ability to pre-notify their downstream peers of an incoming block enabling the peer to prefetch the new block body. The research behind it presents the idea to propagate block bodies before having fully validated them. This takes the block body validation work out of the critical path of block propagation and allows for the time spent on validation to be overlapped with sending the block to the next peer in the network. This reduces block propagation time, which further allows for block size increase or Plutus improvements, among others. Consequently, the bigger the block, the more transactions and Plutus scripts it can carry, which also influences the blockchain's throughput. What's great is these upgrades are planned to be applied to Cardano during the Vassal Hard Fork event. The implementation of input endorsers will also improve block propagation times and throughput. Input endorsers keep track of all submitted transactions and bundle these transactions into pre-constructed blocks. This means there are two sets of blocks, ones that contain the transactions and ones that achieve consensus. The blocks performing consensus will reference the pre-constructed blocks, which are constantly streamed without having to wait for consensus to be achieved. This will improve the consistency of block propagation times and allow higher transaction rates. Another research initiative by IOG scientists, which is commonly debated in the Cardano community, is the implementation of tiered pricing. In the current system, all transactions are treated the same without the possibility to alter their priority by paying higher gas fees. This approach works well as long as the network throughput is comparable to transaction processing demand. However, as the network usage increases, this may result in not all transactions being included in the blockchain. Another reason why this idea is being researched is the possibility of a denial of service attack, where bad actors take advantage of the fair transaction treatment to pass off malicious spam as legitimate transactions. This is a key driver for why additional measures like this are being considered to support network healthiness. Tiered pricing enables steady system performance in an agile way and is especially relevant for preventing DOS attacks. Each tier makes up a set percentage of the maximum block size and is designed for different types of transactions, for example, fair, balanced and immediate. When the network is not busy, tiers default to the standard way of transaction prioritization. 
In terms of layer 2 scalability solutions, to help secure a number of transactions that can be processed at once, a blockchain network can spin up a number of sidechains, introduce state channels, or apply a state-based threshold multi-signature scheme. In terms of sidechains, IOG scientists put forward a security definition that increases the known transaction ledger properties of persistence and liveness to hold across multiple ledgers, and enhances them with a new firewall security property. This safeguards each blockchain from its sidechains, limiting the impact of a potentially catastrophic sidechain failure. The paper also provides a sidechain construction that is suitable for proof-of-stake sidechain systems and is consistent with the Ouroboros consensus protocol. Such techniques as merge staking, cross-chain certification and multi-signature usage are presented to ensure sidechains' resilience to malicious attacks. As a result of this research, IOG has developed the Cardano EVM sidechain, which is currently in alpha version on Testnet. When live, it will be compatible with Ethereum's tools and libraries, allowing developers to create Solidity smart contracts, dApps and ERC20 tokens on Cardano to gain from such benefits as cost efficiency, scalability and security. Besides sidechains, there are other solutions for improving network scalability. The research paper Hydra Fast Isomorphic State Channels was published in 2021. The paper introduces Hydra, an isomorphic multi-party state channel. State channels are an attractive layer 2 solution for improving the throughput and latency of blockchains. Hydra simplifies off-chain protocol and smart contract development by directly adopting the layer 1 smart contract system. This allows the same code to be used both on and off-chain. Taking advantage of the EUTXO model, the research suggests how to develop a fast off-chain protocol for the evolution of Hydra heads, which as we know is currently being implemented on Cardano. Finally, to achieve greater scalability, it's also important to streamline the speed and efficiency of data synchronization between applications. Addressing this, the IOG research team published the paper on Mithril, stake-based threshold multi-signatures, in 2021. Efficient chain validation is essential to achieve greater scalability in a blockchain setting. This also depends on various messages signed by network validators. Mithril addresses the complexity of critical operations that depend on the number of these participants. Given the time it takes to validate a particular message, and the resource usage during the validation phase of chain synchronization, Mithril provides a solution that makes multi-signature aggregation fast and efficient without compromising security features. The paper reflects on how to retain strong security settings in a multi-signature aggregation. As a result, Mithril can be applied for fast, efficient and secure chain synchronization. It is advantageous for secure voting, data exchange between sidechains, and data synchronization within light wallets. Mithril is part of the Basho phase of the roadmap and will be implemented this year. So that's a brief insight to the research behind the layer one and layer two scaling solutions planned for Cardano. If you want to check the full article, I've linked it in the description below. Now, whilst we may not be getting the Vassal update in July, I thought it wouldn't be right for it not to feature in a video discussing tech research and adoption. The Vassal half fork includes several proposals which will dramatically improve Cardano's performance and allow for many dApps to launch on mainnet, along with a whole new range of capabilities that improve the developer experience. So let's briefly run through the four essential updates the Vassal Hardfoot upgrade will bring to the Cardano blockchain. First, the SIP31 update. This is fundamental to improving the blockchain's throughput by introducing reference inputs. The solution addresses the drawbacks in the EUTXO ledger design that require spending and recreating UTXOs. Instead of spending the transaction output to see it, SIP31 will facilitate access to stored data on the blockchain, eliminating the extra step. In other words, users can simply look at the reference input without using the actual data. Ultimately, the update will improve the scalability and resource efficiency, advancing performance of on-chain data providers. Next, SIP32 inline datums. This is another update to streamline the communication between DAP participants. At their core, datums are pieces of data attached to outputs, However, this hasn't been the case as they are implemented in hashes of datums. This mechanism causes massive inconvenience, especially for the spending party. Thanks to the inline datums, Cardano will attach the datums directly to the outputs. As a result, the reduced volume of data will simplify the communication between users. This will result in dApps becoming far more efficient and convenient to use. Next we've got SIP33 Reference Scripts. Reference Scripts is another update that would dramatically improve the throughput and efficiency of Cardano. SIP33 affects Plutus scripts by eliminating the risk of bloating the blockchain and reaching the size limit. The solution addresses the need to satisfy script requirements during validation by replacing individual scripts with universal ones. That way transactions will point to reference scripts instead of entire scripts. As a result, they will become much smaller and more easily processed, allowing dApps to operate quickly, cheaply and efficiently. 
And finally, SIP40 collateral outputs. This SIP focuses on improving the user experience in terms of wallets. Considering Cardano's UTXO model, all wallets must set collateral to interact with dApps. This feature is also an outdated method of DDoS protection, which takes the sender's collateral if the transaction validation fails. The collateral outputs update solves this issue by carrying out the matter more inclusively and fairly. Ultimately, it will improve the transaction validation process by allowing the user to specify their collateral output manually. So that's it for another installment of Cardano Insights, as we delved a little deeper into the tech and research behind this formidable blockchain. I hope you enjoyed today's video and found value in the content, and if you did, then please be sure to comment, share, like, and subscribe to the channel. Your support here is massively appreciated and really helps Sapien reach a wider audience to spread those positive Cardano vibes. We'll be back soon with your daily roundup, and until then, thanks for watching. Have a great day, and as always, keep it Cardano.